Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, we have Brian Rosenberg. He's the head of North America Information Services over at the London Stock Exchange Group. And we are here to discuss the Russell reconstitution taking place 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern today, one of the biggest trading events that we will see all year. Brian, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. One of our favorite times of the year to celebrate <laughs> trading. Tell us more about the Russell reconstitution. Well, first, I'd like to start off and thank you, Jill. I appreciate you having me here today. It's uh, truly an honor and it's a, it's a really a special day, Russell Recon. Um, for us at FTSE Russell, we have $16 trillion of assets benchmarked to our global indexes. Of that $16 trillion, $9 trillion are benchmarked to the Russell US Index Series. For us, this is the time of year, we do it once a year, where it allows us to reset and recalibrate the Russell Index family to truly reflect the changes that have occurred over the past year. And why is this such a big deal for markets and for investors? We at FTSE Russell view this as the broad market index. This represents the index that investors are going to utilize. So whether you want to look across the entire U.S. equity market, whether you want to look at large cap, mid cap, small cap, it's truly a reflection of the market. And this allows investors to make informed decisions on, in, in any capacity that they need to. Well, how come FTSE Russell is at NASDAQ today? FTSE Russell is at NASDAQ today. This is, I believe this is the 16th closing cross that we're doing with NASDAQ. It's, it's truly been a great partnership. Russell Recon, we, we look at total shares traded, total volume. And, and, and last year, in, in the, in the, at the closing bell, one billion shares were traded in under one second. So we're just excited to be a part of this and partner with uh, NASDAQ on it. How do you work with other exchanges when it comes to the Russell Recon? Because it impacts investors globally. Yeah, the, the Russell Recon process is, it's basically six months in the making. So our team start collecting data six months in advance. They start analyzing the data. They start looking at the rules and the methodology that we have in place, of which they then start to formulate market cap for market cap for the respective companies in the index family. May 10th is a big day, so that's called rank day. That's where we decide the market cap and the, the movers within the respective uh, ranks of the, of the Russell products, uh, Russell index series. And then what we do is uh, three weeks prior to today, so on June 7th, we issue all the changes we're making to investors. So investors get to determine what they want to buy, what they want to sell, what changes they're making respective to the changes we're making in the index. Mm -hmm. And then we also provide the information to the exchanges. So the exchanges understand order flow and they, they take all the hard work and they make it easy. They, they ensure seamless, timely, and they, they do it in a way that, that creates the least amount of impact on investors. All right, now what are some of the highlights from um, this year's Russell's Recon? This Russell Recon, this has been an interesting one. We've, uh, we've been able to glean a lot of really good facts. Um, first, the total market cap has gone up 3%. I think um, this is the first time since 2012 that Apple is no longer the largest market cap company. Oh, interesting. So Microsoft is the new number one, Amazon's number two, Apple slots into that third spot. Alphabet is four and Facebook comes in at five. So we have a new top five there, so that's interesting. We have, um, we, we have a new freshman, uh, a, a, a highlighted freshman incoming class of IPOs into the Russell 1000. So we call them the, the Fab Four. So we, it's highlighted by Uber, Lyft, Beyond Meat, and PagerDuty. So those are the four IPOs that are coming in to the Russell 1000. The Russell 2000 is actually taking 27 IPOs oh, wow. as part of it. So we've seen a lot of, income, a lot of incoming companies into the uh, indexes. We have also seen that growth has continued to outpace value. Mm -hmm. Spotify has met their free float requirements and they're now part of the Russell 1000. And just one other fact I'd like to point out from a sector perspective, we, we saw that utilities was the top performing sector over the past year and energy was the biggest laggard. Right. All right, now let's wrap up here, and this is, I'm excited. Do you think we'll have another record closing cross this year? Fingers crossed. Uh, I, volatility hasn't hurt us in the past. Brexit was announced during one of our previous uh, annual recons. This is my first uh, Russell recon. 
leading FTSE Russell and being up here and, and, and having this conversation with you, which I'm really excited about. I'm hoping maybe I'm the good luck charm. Well, we'll see, and I am very excited as well. Can't wait to see everybody at the closing bell. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank and you thank so you much. for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.